There is no limit of God's ability to give. He can and he will provide abundance to each according to the need, but he will also provide so much more at times as well. In our eternal state, we should never lack, we shall never lack or have want. The riches of God will flow like a never-ending river to satisfy his people. The water of life will be flowing forever from the temple of God. The life will never end, and along with that life is not just a life of stubbing your toe every day and being miserable. It will be a life where everything, every need that you have is met and exceeded forever, forever. It will not be anything like we're living right now. This is just the test or the trial that we have to get through in order to enter into glory. Again, however, we need to be careful to make a distinction between what is a need and what is a desire, lest we fall into the false teaching of the prosperity gospel. Paul continues by saying that each need is given according to his riches in glory. What is on Paul's mind with the words in glory is debated. Some scholars tie this to the word riches. Others will connect it with the word supply. And then even that can be subdivided between supply your need with glory, meaning with glory to you or with his glory. It's hard to be dogmatic about this, but Vincent's word studies gives a good, well-rounded thought with, he says, the need shall be supplied in glory and by glory. By placing you in glory, where you shall be partakers of glory. Everything is a blessing from God. I'll read it again so you can grasp it. The need shall be supplied in glory and by glory, by placing you in glory where you will be partakers of glory. Very well said. I can agree with that. No matter which is correct, Paul finishes with in glory by Christ Jesus. The word by in Greek means in. Therefore, it is provided to God's people by their union with Christ. And so he is not making a statement to anyone, to no person on this planet except those who are of the faith. God does not meet the needs of people by Christ Jesus for those who are not in Christ Jesus. I'm sorry, if you're watching this and you think that God will supply your needs and you are not in Christ, it will not happen. I don't mean to be negative to you, but there's way too much unclear thinking about the nature of God in the world today and within Christianity as well. People do not think clearly that God is infinitely, absolutely, and perfectly holy. There is no sin involved with God. There is no darkness in him. There is only purity. And because we have the taint of sin, God cannot, it is impossible, he cannot fellowship with us without Jesus Christ. He is the only way that that can happen because he came and lived perfectly. And in his perfection, he now offers us fellowship with God. And we cannot do it apart from Christ Jesus. If you simply think it through, if you just simply think through the nature of God, Jim watched the uh, Genesis 1-1 sermon not too long ago, and it talks about the nature of God. Everything about God can be deduced without ever having a Bible. We can just simply sit down if we're willing to think it through and understand these things about God. And so we know that there is this dilemma. We know that there is this chasm between us and God, but we do not know how to fix it. And God did, and God sent his son in order to fix it. Christ is the answer. It is Jesus. It is Jesus. It is always about Jesus because without him, that chasm will remain forever. Thank God for what he did in Jesus Christ. Life after